Hello, Reject Nation. Greg Alba here. John Old. We are going to continue Cobra Kai here. We got four episodes left. We space these out because we're not the biggest fans of binge watching ourselves. And uh, not too many people actually watch these. So we do them for the few. For the real fans, the man. The real fans. And on top of that, too, those same people who watch it also complain every time how we got these out late. It's kind of funny how you keep watching and complaining at the same time. I love that. Because of the way YouTube's rules work with TV shows, most of our TV show reactions have actually been blocked from other shows we've done before. Um, we can only show 10 minutes here, but on Patreon, that's where we do full-length TV show reaction watch-alongs. And over there, I cover Attack on Titan. I did most of The Flash Season 4. I started up Gotham recently. John covers Riverdale, Atlanta, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. He just started up Channel Zero. Together, we cover for My Hero Academia, of course, Cobra Kai. Almost done with Jessica Jones Season 2. One more episode of Black Lightning left. We will do those soon. Just want to shout our Patreon out because we got so many contributors over there right now. Thank you guys so much. We also do weekly Q&As and music video coverage. Thank you guys for being so awesome and helping support the channel. Anywho, let's get on with our Cobra Kai. <laughs> Wax on. Wax oh, is on. that what that was? Uh, maybe a little reference. It's very pronounced left, right? <laughs> <laughs> he can't do anything right, can he? No, it's just that all cleaning and maintenance is a good metaphor for martial arts. <laughs> There's a wax on, wax off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, he just life. really cares. I'm all done. Really? You motherfucker. <laughs> Both lots. This is bullshit. Okay, I thought you were gonna teach me karate. I'm just doing all your shitty chores. It is karate, and you get yeah. paid. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Hey! That stuff really works. <laughs> wow. One shot. <laughs> I that hair back though. Whoa. I got a clean, I got a clean card. <laughs> I got to go back to the lot right quick. Now kiss. Hi. Oh, did you just flinch, Virgin? <laughs> oh, 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 poor guy. Did you just flinch, Virgin? Ah. Holy shit, we got a room full of flinchers. Yes, yes, yes. That was not a question. <laughs> Raise your hand if you ever been punched in the face. Before you leave this dojo, each and every one of you is going to take a punch very hard to the face. What? Damn, dude. Miss Robinson. Yes, Sensei. It's going to punch them off the face. <laughs> Do you need to have any credentials before you open up a karate school? First aid's under the counter. We got a bleeder? No. Well, I mean, yeah, we do. There's a lot of blood, but this is about something else. <laughs> what is it? Well, there's a girl at school. She hot? And she's super smart. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's hot, super hot. Nay. Nice. <laughs> she likes karate. Yeah, but I don't have the code. I'm the new guy. I, I don't even have a key to the bathroom. I'm sure you can figure something out. You always do. Unless he doesn't want to. Oh, then we'd have a bigger problem. Yeah. Remember what we did to that? We got a bitch on our hands. But we're not going to have a bigger problem. Probably right. I mean, Robbie knows how to wax on and wax off now. Then. That's true. Give a couple more shifts, he'll be more for his master. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Um, I mean, not a lot, a lot, just the normal amount. I've been masturbating to you lately. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you want to go out on a date with me? Nice. That was oh. smooth. That was fast. <laughs> um, the gal looks really sweet. I mean, I would like to. With everything that happened with Kyler, I'm kind of taking a break from dating right now. Oh, buddy. Don't take no for an answer. Never accept the There he is. Punch her. What if it's not a date? What if it's just two people hanging out <laughs> in the same place, having fun? It's a better idea than mine. Separately, but... Okay. What if it's just a boy standing Sounds across like a date. from a girl? Really? <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be a date. Picking up a date. Yeah, totally. Okay. Hell yeah. I have a mic. 
Uber. I'll pick you up. Okay. Oh, yeah. how progressive. It's the future. They're just hanging out. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. They're both going to pay for dinner. <laughs> oh, son of a bee. Damn it, Robbie. Dude, that is clever. Is it yeah. Too late to register my it is, it is <laughs> oddly clever, isn't it? Sure, it's Cobra Kai. Cobra, like the badass. <laughs> I know that she likes chocolates and astronomy. Dude, the Griffith yeah. Observatory. One very basic, about? one very specific. <laughs> Griffith Observatory. No, you don't ban me. I'll ban you. We don't take no for an answer. You said that you gotta fight this. You know what? You're right. Student. You can go down the there. sensei. And beat their asses. Uh, no, 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 no. What, what? No, that's not what I meant. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying maybe there's a more delicate approach, sensei. <laughs> the way the fist is not delicate. Mm. Bro. Danny text fast. Yeah. No, he, he wrote all those out in advance and it was pasted. Yeah. <laughs> so if you get pissed off, what are you going to do? I don't know. I usually just punch the guy. That's not going to work. So <laughs> how about this? How about uh, when someone makes you angry, you, you make a fist like you're going to punch them? But don't punch them? Ooh, briefcase. What's inside? Nothing. Out in the dumpster. <laughs> nice touch. Whoa. Is this a real place? And somewhere. This is near us? It's definitely a real place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Much nicer than the Sherman Oaks Castle Park near Encino that this show is based off of. Yeah. Come on, it's gonna be so much fun. Okay. Aww. Make sure golf. That's a cute date. Aww, flirtation. Oh my god. Oh, dude, you're getting laid. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah. This is a lot. Let's see, you could get 15 necklaces, an eraser, or 37. Or one box of condoms. <laughs> Do I have enough tickets for that? <laughs> I'm John Lawrence here for the tournament committee meeting. My dojo has been banned from the under 18 tournament. I don't know, we could ban anyone. Is that a thing? Yeah, just bear with us, sir. It's probably just a mistake. What's the name of your dojo? Cobra Kai. Oh. You know, I never missed the annual meeting there, right? Oh, 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 damn. Oh, damn. Just in time. His dojo is banned from the tournament. He wants to re-enter. Oh, I'm sure he does. Oh! Ah! Civil War. <laughs> He's really gonna make me have to do this. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Reflex. Oh. Oh, he only shit. taught him blocks, though. Nice. Wow, damn, he got really good really fast. Yeah. Hey, with Danny LaRusso as his mentor. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I'm rooting for him. I know, right? I really turned this around. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> You better watch your ass. Why is he from New York? Because <laughs> he's, a, he's a hooligan, <laughs> that's why. Aw, oh, the photo booth. Kisses? <laughs> that was really cute. That was really cute. I admit Cobra Kai had its share of problems in the 80s. My sensei didn't always play by the rules. That's why I left. But my Cobra Kai is different. Clench your fist. It's a place where kids can come and feel like they belong. Where they won't get picked on just because they're a bunch of losers. They're because they're unique. <laughs> first hand as my students have gotten stronger. Like good. Gain That's great. <laughs> Cobra Kai is making a difference in these kids' lives. And honestly, they're making a difference in mine as well. Oh, damn. Thank you. Emotions. That doesn't sound at all like the old Cobra Kai. It's a badass name for a dojo, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Fist. For all of us, when I say the community could use more men like you, Mr. Lawrence. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Aww. this is horse shit. This guy Whoa. was the biggest bully in my high school, and he hasn't changed at all. Get into, like, a general fighting position. Ah, uh, but she already knows. Put your hands on my hips. Uh, no. No, I'm correcting your stance. Look, 
Oh, damn. You know, this may be the best date I've ever been on. Aww. Oh. Right. Not a date. That stick your tongue in his mouth. <laughs> oh! Boom. Dude, Miguel. Miguel! Living out Love. the fantasy right now. Love. Can Danny LaRusso do that move that she did? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, who's the man? <laughs> man? Oh, shit. Are you the man too? <laughs> Tell me you're the man. I'm the man. You crushed the date. I crushed the committee meeting. Cobra Kai's back, baby. Oh. All right. I'm gonna grab a soda. Do you want a banquet? No, no. It's called for real toast. We're all having beer. Drink it or put hair on your balls. <laughs> oh. Is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a good thing. Cobra Kai. Never accept defeat. Hooray for Cobra Kai. <laughs> Look, guys, if anyone gets upset that we take so long to do the next episode, trust me, it's us. Right. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch the next one. I now. love this show. I do. I, do. <laughs> I genuinely love this show. I look forward to these shoots every week. Yeah. yeah this, this, is, this is amazing. I thought everything in this episode was... I have no criticisms. I have zero criticisms towards this episode right now. I Show's done. <laughs> you, know, like, you can't clear this bar. Yeah, I don't know if it's my favorite episode, but it's definitely up there. Every episode, I usually have a little bit of something to say. But this one, I'm like, everything is perfect to me. And, and the yeah. way this is all executed, man. Every plot line, every detail they chose yeah. to focus on, everything was pretty rewarding. No characters were annoying or anything like yeah. that. All that stuff with Robbie learning the karate from Danny and then applying it to go against those people who were a bad influence on him, I thought was really rewarding rewarding too. Robbie's a character that's really grown on me. I don't know if you guys watch My Hero Academia, but he's kind of like the Bakugo character for me. Yeah, <laughs> right, where he starts out just angry yeah. and yelling all the time, and then and slowly you realize he wants to be better. Yeah, exactly. I've really been enjoying his arc here, and I think it's really interesting seeing the switcheroo that they've done with the show, because Cobra Kai in the 80s, the movies, They've attracted people who were like bullies. Someone who would be more like a Robbie. Someone who then, wants to learn how to kick ass more efficiently than they already yeah, can. Yeah, to impose harm and stuff. And yeah. then there was Mr. Miyagi who would attract someone like Danny LaRusso who was the kid that would get bullied. And now the kids who would get bullied are at Cobra Kai and the kid who would do the bullying is with Danny LaRusso. Yeah. And you're watching these kids get to grow and learn the good qualities from these teachers. You're also seeing the impact that it's having on the instructors as well. Yeah. Yeah, because they both have some growing up to do. And yeah. I like that the show doesn't shy away from that. You know, it lets both Danny and Johnny be real people. And there are times when you're like, both of them, calm down. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Know? And I appreciate that. And two, like, I like that they gave Robbie not only a chance to come around as more of a likable character, but also, like, he's kind of clever in this episode a couple times. Both, like you pointed out, with the recording, the code, yeah. with his front face camera. And then like, also... I should apply that method for some stuff. In my yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then the way he traps them at the end right under the security yeah. camera like he knows he probably can't level the both of them but if he can get a glimpse of them on the camera yeah. you know yeah my only criticism i have of this episode is the two bullies the two guys who are like playing an influence over They're i've lived in la guys, my yeah. whole life i'm like i've never met anyone who seems this artificially bad <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 the one guy seems like some creepy guy from the east coast <laughs> The black guy seems like an actor. I know, exactly. Yeah. He seems like he's auditioning and then moonlighting as a criminal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really buy it. But that storyline I thought was good. I'm at the point now where no matter what happens, I'm like Cobra Kai to win. I know. I've officially switched over to Cobra Kai. Because when they had that victory at the end, both Miguel and Johnny... I felt so happy for both of them, especially Miguel. Like this storyline between Miguel and Sam, I really have been enjoying. It's really heartwarming and touching and does bring me back to that youthful side. Well, and, and especially when they go out to the arcade. And oh then, yeah. I wonder how they, they shot that even because some of that stuff is just so natural, you know, like their, their chemistry and just the fun that they're having really comes out. Their back and forth is great. And when they kiss, they get a little bit teary eyed with joy. I'm just yeah. like, yay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. love in the air, I feel it. Uh, I was really happy for him. It's the kind of moment many of us longed for in our youths. And I like that Miguel plays an influence on Johnny as well in terms of 
how to be a better person. Johnny straight up took his advice on how to get Cobra Kai into the championship tournament. Yeah, and that was a rewarding scene too to actually watch the emotion creep into Johnny oh, watch yeah, yeah. and realize that he has to, yeah, adjust to this and, and to be bigger than Danny's being at the time. Because Danny's being pretty petty at the meeting. Like, he's being pretty shitty about that. Yeah, that's just an instant way to lose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, a cool dynamic about this show is that, like, whenever Johnny and Danny are in the same room, Danny kind of becomes the bully by proxy. <laughs> Especially when other people are around. Yeah, he like really wants to prove to everyone, like, nah, this yeah. guy sucks, I'm yeah. gonna let you know why. But when they're alone, you see the dick come out of Johnny. He's a more... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're uh, still both very much at odds, and that's what makes things interesting, and that's what makes... Not, like, suspense is the exact right word, but it does give a certain amount of suspense for how this is all gonna end up, because they both psych each other out. So when yeah. they actually get to the tournament, like, I wonder what's gonna happen there, too. Yeah, and it was cool that kind of see the arc that's already happened with Johnny being affected by the students mm -hmm. when he's giving that speech of how much the students have impacted his life. I thought that was great because yeah. at first he was negative towards the kind of students that were coming and now he's feeling really positive towards it. Just him and Miguel bonding at the end. I was like, yeah, good for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you like, guys deserve a win. Yeah. I wanted to, to have a shot with them. <laughs> yeah. you know? I don't hate Danny at all. Mm. I have nothing against him. But, but the way the show's going, I'm like, yeah, I'm hoping in the end Cobra Kai comes out on top in this situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I wonder how their conflict is going to resolve or not by season's end, and I feel like they might surprise us with something, yeah. or else they're going to learn to respect each other, and we'll have to find a new conflict for season two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of cool to see how it started off with just two storylines, Johnny and Danny, and then there's like storylines that have trickled down from their storylines. Mm -hmm. And now we got this whole ensemble of a yeah, show. Yeah, now you got That's Miguel cool. and you got Robbie and you, you got, got Sam. Sam. And even the additional side character students who are at the Cobra Kai Dojo. <laughs> I love this show. This this show is amazing. And, um, Dude, we got to really get matching hop tattoos. We should do that. Yes, that's the next on the bucket list. <laughs> All right. Did that kid get like $800 for that piece? This is what I want. I don't know. The artwork wasn't that great. I know tattoos. I have several. Yeah, you're. these are covered up sleeves this right is, now. This is all a skin tattoo. Really, I'm pale. As a yeah. Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> the whole body. Yeah. You decided that you were done with tanning, so you're just like, ah, take me a few shades take me darker. Take a few shades. Yeah, let's do this. I don't want to spend money every month for this. Anyway, guys, well, thank you for watching. Full length reactions are over. Over at our Patreon for all those shows that we mentioned as well. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Please click that notification bell. And uh, we'll catch you on the flippity, 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 flip.